Hey guys, welcome back to another reaction video with me, Amyosha Bean. Thank you guys for watching part two of this reaction of George Carlin, the three categories of brainwashing. So this category is called the fear of germs. Let's check it out. Two and one. Yeah. But, but I also know that most Americans are soft and frightened and unimaginative and they don't realize there's such a thing as dangerous fun. And they certainly don't recognize a good show when they see one. I have always been willing to put myself at great personal risk for the sake of entertainment. And I've always been willing to put you at great personal risk for the same reason. As far as I'm concerned, all of this airport security, all the searches, the screenings, the cameras, the questions, it's just one more way of reducing your liberty and reminding you that they can f with you anytime they want. As long as you put up with it. As long as you put up with it. Which means, of course, anytime they want. Because that's what Americans do now. They're always willing to trade away a little of their freedom in exchange for the feeling, the illusion mm. of security. What we have now is a completely neurotic population obsessed with security and safety and crime and drugs and cleanliness and hygiene and germs. There's another thing, germs. Where did this sudden fear of germs come from? in this country. Have you noticed this? The media constantly running stories about all the latest infections, salmonella, E. coli, hantavirus, bird flu, yeah, and, and Americans are, they panic easily, so now everybody's running around scrubbing this and spraying that and overcooking their food and repeatedly washing their hands, trying to avoid all contact with germs. It's ridiculous and it goes to ridiculous lengths in prisons. Pause. He's so right about that, about the germs and how America has been obsessed with this, you know, germ kind of thing. You know, I used to be that way growing up, but, you know, as I got older, actually, there's some germs that are actually good for you. You know, like dirt, you know, it, it's, it actually builds your immune system. Like, there's a lot of things that, the, like, that, that are from the earth that are very natural, but he's right. All these, the news says it's all these new germs, you know case in point he's like he's like it's it's this it's ridiculous that we're so so we get crazy because we're so controlled by the media you know because you know that's just one thing of like you know uh diseases and germs that are coming out and infections and people get crazy i mean case in point with with um without getting my channel blocked because i think if i mention it it'll probably have it underneath here but um you know the thing that we all just came out of, uh, the the vid, right? Like, I feel like a, when that happened, people were like terrified, absolutely terrified. I had friends that would not want to hang out. Would They were like, we're staying home and they got the booster. They got all these things. Hey, do what you want to do. But I'm with George Carlin on this, is that we get so obsessed with like, like all these things and actually create the problem because we're just so like scared and i feel like the news does that you know um it does create a fear in us as you know in society all right let's get back to it i'm really enjoying this right now let's check it out before they give you a lethal injection they swab your arm with alcohol <laughs> it's true it's true it's true. Well, well, they don't want you to get an infection. And you can see their point. Wouldn't want some guy to go to hell and be sick. It would take a lot of the sportsmanship out of the whole execution. Fear of germs, why these f pussies? You can't even get a decent hamburger anymore. They cook out of everything now because everybody's afraid of food poisoning hey where's your sense of adventure take a f***ing chance will you you know how many people die in this country from food poisoning every year nine thousand that's all it's a minor risk <laughs> take a chance bunch of goddamn pussies besides what do you think you have an immune system for it's 9, for killing 000. germs but it needs practice. It needs germs to practice on. So, so listen. 
So listen. Hi. If you kill all the germs hey. around you and live a completely sterile life, then when germs do come exactly along, you're not going to be prepared. And never mind ordinary germs. What are you going to do when some super virus comes along that turns your vital organs you into liquid shit? You won't be sorry. I'll tell okay. you what you're going to do. You're going to get sick, you're going to die, and you're going to deserve it because you're weak and you got a weak immune system. <laughs> now, <laughs> hey, God damn it. Hey. All right, let me tell you a true story about immunization, okay? <laughs> when I was a little boy in New York City in the 1940s, we swam in the Hudson River, and it was filled with raw sewage, okay? We swam in raw sewage, you know, to cool off. <laughs> and at that time, the big fear was polio. Thousands of kids died from polio every year. But you know something? In my neighborhood, no one ever got polio. No one ever. You know why? Because we swam in raw sewage. <laughs> It strengthened our immune systems. The polio never had a prayer. We were tempered in raw shit. <laughs> so, so personally, I never take any special precautions against germs. I don't shy away from people who sneeze and cough. I don't wipe off the telephone. I don't cover the toilet seat. And if I drop food on the floor, I pick it up and eat it. <laughs> I eat it. Yes, I do. Even if I'm at a sidewalk cafe in Calcutta, the poor section, on New Year's morning during a soccer riot. And you know something, in spite of all that so-called risky behavior, I never get infections. I don't get them. I don't get colds, I don't get flu, I don't get headaches, I don't get upset stomachs. And I, you know why? Because I got a good, strong immune system and it gets a lot of practice. My immune system is equipped with the biological equivalent of fully automatic military assault rifles with night vision and laser scopes. And we have recently acquired phosphorus grenades, cluster bombs, and anti-personnel fragmentation mines. So when my white blood cells are on patrol reconnoitering my bloodstream, seeking out strangers and other undesirables, if they see any, any suspicious wow. looking germs of any kind, they don't f around. They whip out the waxen weapons, they wax the mother and deposit the unlucky fellow directly into my colon. <laughs> into my colon. There's no nonsense. There's no Miranda warning. There's none of that three strikes and you're out shit. First defense, bam! Into the colon you go. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah, yeah. Uh, oh. And speaking of my colon, I want you to know I don't automatically wash my hands every time I go to the bathroom, okay? Can you deal with that? Sometimes I do, sometimes I don't. You know when I wash my hands? When I shit on them. That's the only time. That's the o And you know how often that happens? Tops, tops, two, three times a week, tops, tops. Maybe a little more frequently over the holidays, you know what I mean? And I'll tell you something else, my well-scrubbed friends. You don't always need a shower every day. Did you know that? It's overkill. Unless you work out or work outdoors, or for some reason come in intimate contact with huge amounts of filth and garbage every day, you don't always need a shower. All you really need to do is to wash the four key areas. Armpits, asshole, crotch, and teeth. Got that? Armpits, asshole, crotch, and teeth. In fact, you can save yourself a whole lot of time if you simply use the same brush on all four areas. That was good. That was good. That was good. Oh my gosh, George is hilarious. Thank you, guys. He said, you could save time when you use <laughs> that one brush. <laughs> Armpits, but. <laughs> oh, that was great. That was great. Um, thank you guys for recommending this. This is great. We have one more category. Um, and um, thank you guys for watching this episode. The next category of the three categories of brainwashing is... The next video, sorry, it's going to be right here of uh, me reacting to the third category. And that is called 
word and language manipulation. So check that out with the video. Thank you guys for watching. Thanks you guys for checking out my reaction. Hit the notification bell for all new videos that I'm dropping here. Thank you guys for the suggestions. I'll see you guys in the next video. Peace.